A sophisticated U.S. helicopter filled with stealth technology had to be left behind at Bin Laden's compound. Now it's giving it, giving up its secrets, and in spite of efforts to destroy it, CBS News national security correspondent David Martin joins us now from the Pentagon. David, good morning. Good morning. We're learning now about uh, those first few moments uh, with those two helicopters entering that compound and how closely, how closely things were to going very wrong very quickly. This was a very, very dangerous moment. The, the helicopters were going to put their seals... Uh, down on the compound uh, by fast roping out of the helicopters, and as one of them came in and into its hover, it lost lift. And so at an altitude of about 20 or 25 feet, it started to go down. And you can imagine what would have happened if that helicopter had crashed right there in the middle of the courtyard at the beginning of the operation. The, the uh, pilot managed to nudge his uh, Black Hawk forward and into a bigger courtyard where he did a crash landing. And in the course of that, uh, no one was injured, and so the mission was able to uh, go on as planned. But uh, he sheared off the uh, tail rotor of the uh, helicopter, and that had to be left behind. And it uh, has now been photographed and revealed a number of uh, stealth features on it. Yeah, what have we found out about this technology and just how, uh, how much of a secret was this? Well, certainly nobody knew it was on helicopters. I mean, stealth technology has been around for uh, 20, 30 years now. Um, but to put it on a helicopter uh, does some things that make the helicopter harder to fly. This, this helicopter had more blades, rotor blades, than the normal helicopter. And that takes the wop-wop out of the distinctive helicopter sound. But it also gives it less power because it, can, it turns more slowly. Uh, so everything's a trade-off here. You, you, you become quieter, but you have less power. And uh, we don't know the details of why uh, that helicopter lost lift, but it may well have been the added uh, problems of trying to, trying to operate a helicopter with those extra rotor blades. Okay, U.S. is obviously trying to get that tail rotor back from the Pakistani government real quickly. Any chance of that happening? Well, you have to believe that the mood the Pakistanis are in right now, uh, if we do ever get it back, they're going to take their own sweet time about it. All right. David Martin for us. Thank you at the Pentagon. David, good to see you this morning.